Hi everyone and welcome to the June edition of my Ask Me Anything LinkedIn Live. I hope you're all doing well. It's just been a bank holiday in the UK and we had some lovely weather but now it's raining again today but it's not the end of the world. So I'm just going to be nosy and have a quick look at my um, LinkedIn on the app and make sure whether I am live or whether I am streaming through the cover banner. I don't see it yet and hopefully ah, I can see a comment so I must be live oh hi Samantha thank you so much for coming on um I'd love to know how you found me Samantha was it through the cover banner did you just see that on your screen and click in um I imagine it was so hi Sarah I can see you as well hi Goppy so it's great you're all joining me which is amazing so welcome if this is your first ask me anything LinkedIn live with me I do them once a month the first Wednesday of the month 11 a.m British time whether that is GMT or BST and I do it for half half an hour and you can find the details of all of these free monthly ask me anythings on my company page for my super connector so the next one is going to be Wednesday July the 7th at 11 if you want to kind of bag your spot for next month so the way these work is obviously you come along and you pick my brain um, but they're also a great networking opportunity and I do believe a LinkedIn live is a great place for you to meet people because LinkedIn is primarily a professional social network. So bear me a second, guys. I'm just going to mess around with the tech and I'm going to stick this one up. So if you could put in the comments where you're joining us from today, I know Samantha's over in Wexford in Ireland. It'd be great to know uh, where you are in the world and also do it if you're joining on replay because it's always great to see, you know, kind of when it comes to the tech and the algorithm, who who actually sees it after. So if you're joining in on the replay, please reach out, please put some comments in too, it'd be amazing. So I'm gonna stop that bit of tech there now, <laughs> okay? And uh, I've actually got some notes today written on a paper bag, <laughs> just to remind me because I have a habit of launching straight in and not kind of doing any um, housekeeping. First thing I wanted to say was, Last week, I hosted a free five day challenge, a LinkedIn profile visibility challenge. And I can see Sarah in the comments, she was on it. And it was for especially for female entrepreneurs on how to get their profile visible on LinkedIn. So the challenge is over, but there are still replays and they're valid until this Friday at midnight. So if anybody wants access to that free challenge, just stick it in the comments below and just even say challenge access, something like that. And I'll come back to you and I'll give you access to the replays. If you're not a female entrepreneur and you're feeling hard done by and you think I want access to a five day challenge, I also have one on my website. So if you go to my website, www.mysuperconnector.co.uk and if you go to the free resources tab there is a challenge that in there a five-day challenge that I did back in February and it's for everyone it doesn't matter whether you are an executive or an entrepreneur or female or male okay so you can check that out if you want a little binge on how to get your LinkedIn profile up and running okay so amazing I can see actually lots of people in the comments from Ireland which is great so I'm gonna quickly go through. So hi, Catherine, hi, Peter, hi, Alan, hi, Ka there's Catherine again. Um, yeah, Samantha said she saw a notification that I was live, which is amazing. I do think the new feature for going live on LinkedIn is a lot better. So what happens is your cover banner area behind your head suddenly turns into a video. So it's a great way to capture people's attention because LinkedIn Lives, they're not the easiest to join or to follow. They're a little bit different to a Facebook Live and Prior to this new feature, what you'd have to do is check your notifications and you'd see Jennifer's gone live, or you would bring up my LinkedIn profile, scroll down to my activity section, and you should hopefully see me going live in the posts. Um, so it was a bit of a rigmarole. It wasn't that easy. There was no kind of link to click to join. You just have to find it. All I say is refresh your feed. If you're ever like trying to join a live and you can't see it, just keep refreshing the feed on your desktop and hopefully it should appear. But now the new feature is you see it in the cover banner. So it's kind of like a video announcement to the world that you're going live, which is amazing. So it's hi Soma, Soma's saying she wants uh, challenge access and don't worry, I will go to all of these comments once I get past the half an hour and I will give, um, some of you access. Hi Harriet, I can see a few people who did the challenge. So it's great to actually view you here in real time. So what else do I wanna do before I wanna get into the Q and A's? I just wanted to quickly say, 
if you didn't do the challenge, but you want some free tips on how to get your profile working for you, I have a free download on my website if you sign up to my mailing list and it's my LinkedIn profile success checklist and it's seven pages long and it's a PDF and the ladies who did the challenge last week, they'll tell you what it's like, Harriet and Sarah. It's really useful and it, you know, it basically, if you're new to LinkedIn or you're on LinkedIn a while, by going through this checklist, it will enable you to show up in 40% more searches because you will have an all-star profile by the time you go through the checklist, okay? So if you don't have that, please join that. Join my email community. I'm always sharing top tips there as well. And another one I'm gonna showcase is, and I promise this is the end of the housekeeping, if you're not already in my LinkedIn group, it's called Networking Tips at My Super Connector. I'd love to see you in there. So the way to find the group is the LinkedIn search bar. You know, we all love the Google search bar. We use it every day, but a lot of people are like, ah, oh, when it comes to LinkedIn search bar and everything is in there. Groups, people, company pages, they're all in there. You know, a few clicks of your fingers, everything will be revealed. So if you don't know how to find a group, just put in the title in the search bar and you'll find it. And I will let you in the group after. And uh, the group actually was where I had my challenge last week. So you can jump in as well and see some of the replays and you'll see all the, the comments that people made. And I'm always sharing things like this live and other updates on LinkedIn in the group. So it's it's for everyone the group it doesn't matter whether you're a female male entrepreneur ex executive it's for people who want to learn how to network on linkedin and we've got about three thousand people so it is a safe space to hang out and everybody is in the group to learn how to network on linkedin okay so that is my last bit of housekeeping and just before i i'm going to just do one tiny announcement and then i might mention it again at the end but I just wanted to say for those who were on the challenge and for those of you who connect with me, you might have seen me post in a while back surveying you guys about a new group program and asking for your opinion on my logo for the new group program. And I just wanted to say, finally, the LinkedIn Tribe Academy is live. It's my new group program, which is for female entrepreneurs and it's an eight week online program. And if anybody's interested, I will share the link below after this. Uh, basically, the special launch price this week and the launch price expires Friday midnight and it will go up by almost 20% on Saturday. And the great thing about this program is it's for a limited amount of people. So I'm looking for no more than 20. So it's not like other programs that have hundreds and thousands of people where you get overwhelmed. This is all about doing things uh, in a close knit group and fast. I'm all about quick wins. I don't want to have a six month program or a 12 month. I want to get you there thriving on LinkedIn in eight weeks. Okay. You know, I want to help you to work smarter and not harder. So if anybody wants to find out about that, I'll share the link where you can book on straight. Or if you want to book a call, I've got calls in my calendar Thursday morning, tomorrow morning and Friday morning, just so you can book in and get the special deal. Even if you don't get a special deal, it's still amazing value. If you look at the, the sales page, it's still going to be a bargain if you sign up next week. So that's my little plug there. And now, finally, I'm just going to go to your comments and then feel free, throw your questions at me. Start to get the questions coming in. Pick my brain. You've got till half 11. So I'm going to quickly go to all of the um notifications while I'm waiting for some questions. It's nice to see some familiar faces. Peter, I know, and Darren, I know. Nice to see Aries joining from Andalusia in Spain. I'm sure we all wish we were in the sunshine today. Uh, it was nice in the UK up to yesterday, and it will be nice again tomorrow, so I don't want to complain. Um, Harriet had done my challenge. Then we've got, I, I hope I pronounce your name, Iraku Wu, is that it? Joining from Nigeria. So any questions you have, please put them in the um, the, the thread now. I've not really seen any questions pop up, but I'm wondering, is something happening with the feed? <laughs> okay, so Soma did say that she wanted to access the challenge, but she was too busy and she forgot to sign up. So don't worry about it. You can catch up on the replays, no problem. Okay, I'm not seeing any questions. <laughs> Maybe it's just my feed. So I'm gonna see if I can find it on my app and see what's going on here. Okay, and hopefully, oh, I can see myself on my phone. <laughs> but I'm hoping, yeah, I don't see any questions. So has nobody got any questions whatsoever that you wanna ask me about LinkedIn? This is your opportunity. I'm here once a month. 
on, you know, if you're shy about asking the questions, I'll just chat a bit about updates, okay? So a few updates have been happening on the profile. If you look at my profile, you'll notice that gender pronouns are being rolled out. So this is an optional extra that you can attach to your profile area. And it's about how you identify, whether it's she and her, he, him, and um, they or there. And uh, I think it's great because it's LinkedIn really getting on the ball in terms of um, inclusivity, access accessibility, um, gender balance. So I think it's a great feature, but you don't have to use it. If you think, I don't want to put a gender pronoun on my profile, you don't have to. I've stuck it up there. Another new feature is, of course, this, the link to live, going live in your cover banner, which I think is an amazing feature, especially if you are doing regular lives. It's a great way of attracting attention. Some people will know about your live in advance and they will have scheduled to join it, but others will just come across it by accident on the home feed. So that's amazing. Another feature which I have on my profile and I'm still not 100% sure about it is, <clears throat> sorry about this, I'm gonna take a sip of water, is creator mode. So if you have a look at mine, you'll see, I'm spotlighting five hashtags, okay? So creator mode, what happens is when you add it to your profile, it switches from a connect to a follow. And then you're allowed to spotlight five hashtags on topics that you talk about frequently. So I've put up the ones that I talk about, which are mainly LinkedIn tips, personal branding tips, um, imposter syndrome. I help a lot of people get over their mindset blocks when it comes to showing up on LinkedIn. And that's really, um, it's meant to be for content creators, people who are pushing out content quite frequently. But I'm on the fence. I'm not sure if it is a great new feature yet because the actual hashtags, when you click in, they're not clickable. And I've not noticed any increase in reach since I've turned it on. Like the gender pronouns, it is an optional feature, so you don't have to put on creator mode. I know a lot of people have asked me, do I need this? If you're not pushing out regular content, you don't, you know? And also ask yourself, what is the size of your network? If you're new to LinkedIn and you're building your network, you want it to be on Connect. I've got to a stage where I've got 10,000 connections, so I'm happy to have it on Follow, because I've got quite a big network, you know? So if you're trying to build your network if you're trying to generate leads if you're trying to build a community keep it on connect just because a new feature arrives and it looks a bit sexy doesn't mean you have to use it like i said i'm on the fence i might switch it off next week it might be something i switch on and off and say but for me creator mode is not really floating my boat uh, one feature I haven't got yet, which I am really looking forward to, is the new Harry Potter video thing. So basically, when people click on your headshot on your profile, a little video will move behind, and it will it would be a short video, 20, 30 seconds long, and um, it's a great way for you to show up on LinkedIn and just say hi, people by people, whether you are doing, you know, if you're a business owner, whether you have a product or a service or whether you're executive, people will buy you as an individual. So it's a great opportunity to give a, a quick hello, a welcome, a warm introduction as to who you are and how you can help people. So I'm really looking forward to that. And the minute I get it, I will add it. Obviously, I'll probably do it on a good hair day. <laughs> if I don't have a good hair day, I will just make sure my lighting is good or I'll go outside and the, the probably near the beach actually because I live near the beach in Devon so I might do that for a natural light and just a bit of something scenery behind me so I am looking forward to that um I can see a few questions have come up yay okay okay so I'm going to go through the questions that I can see okay okay so I'm going to just spotlight Alan here on the screen. So Alan said he's currently actively looking for work. So he's updated his profile pic with the green banner, which is the open to work thing. Um, when you put the open to work on your profile, you've got two options. One is to recruiters only, and one is to your entire network at large. So I would probably put it to your entire network at large. What else can I do to show people my availability? Well, the showing, I... I would probably send a lot of messages, which is in the back end, you know. Uh, you know, it's one thing to kind of show up with your content, but the beauty of LinkedIn is it's a networking platform. So I would probably, if I was you, I would download a list of all my LinkedIn connections, and it is possible to do this. And you can download them into the, an Excel or a CSV file. And I would, you can either print it out, or you can keep it on your desktop, and I would highlight in yellow, 
the good people that you've forgotten that you're connected to that you can reach out to, okay? Because a lot of people worry or they forget about the good people they're connected to and they're always worrying about the next person, especially if they're business owners. Who can I connect to? Or even looking for a job, what recruiter? But you may already know some amazing people in your network and I'm sure you do. So I would download your existing um, database and um, you're able to do this for free on LinkedIn and go to a yellow highlighter. And then I would reach out to these people, okay? And what I would do is, you have a choice. You can either send a written message or an audio. I, If I knew them quite well, I would send out audio messages, Alan. So I would just say, you know, hi, Mary, Twitch and Base for you. I'm actually looking for work at the moment um, in XYZ space. I just wondering if you knew of anyone or you could put me in touch with anyone. It's just a short and sweet informal message because people will respond to that quicker as opposed to a written message. That being said, I think if you said a written message that said you're looking for help getting a job, most people I like to think are kind and they would respond. So I wouldn't worry about the show. You're already showing you're open to work. Definitely make sure that it's open to work to recruiters and your whole network. OK, you could do a post as well one day. Pick a good day. Um, so you could do it today or you could do it tomorrow. I wouldn't do it on a Friday. The engagement goes down on a Friday. I don't know if I do it on a Monday. Maybe, maybe a Monday. Obviously, bank holiday Monday is, is, is a no-go. But I would, yeah, maybe halfway through the week, a Wednesday is perfect because you get a good bit of engagement. And I would just put it out there, an emotional post of I need help, blah, blah, blah. If you've got a graphic um, that's, read, you know, kind of pertinent to what you're doing or maybe a picture of you maybe in your last role or any picture that kind of showcases what you do and your personality and, and you know everything about you your mission your vision anything like that you could tag 30 people in on the image okay that way 30 people get to see your post and you can also tag people in the written post and you can also tag people in the comments. So there's opportunity to put a lot of tags. That way you're guaranteed eyeballs on your post. So I would do one impactful post one day saying, I need your help, LinkedIn network, you know, I'm looking for X, Y, Z. So that's the thing I would do as a um, show and tell. Um, otherwise, messenger, reaching out to people and just saying, can you help me? And how can I help you? Always position everything as a win-win because it's a networking platform, you know? Just say, look, I'd really love your help. And if you need my help in any way, let me know how I can help you, okay? So that is what I would do. Um, so I'm just quickly going down. Okay, Harriet. Harriet was on my five-day challenge last week um, and she was great. She was really active. So she has said, during the challenge, you asked who my ideal client is, how clear do I need to make this? Super clear, <laughs> super clear. LinkedIn's all about clarity and consistency and community. So there's no clarity, people won't know that you can help them. So the clearer, and it's funny, I was actually with two friends for a cup of tea um, right before this, and we were chatting about niching, or niching, as the Americans like to say. So your niche <laughs> needs to be super clear, otherwise people won't know that you're the one for them. So I know that Harry is a coach. But there are all types of coaches, you know, there is executive coaches, there are business coaches, you know, so many different types, the ones that do corporate and um, maybe some help business owners or individuals, you know, so the, the more specific you can be, the better, because people will see that you are potentially somebody that can help them. Otherwise, you're just lumped into a coaching bracket. So for me, I get it. It can be really hard to niche down, you know, niche down. Um, I was the same when I first launched because you want to help people, especially if you are a coach or a trainer, you want to help as many people as possible. Currently, my niche <laughs> is um, service based people, really service based entrepreneurs and executives and primarily female entrepreneurs, coaches, consultants, trainers. When it comes to the corporate space, my niche is universities. I like to help people like Harriet, who out other people. <laughs> so that's my niche. Um, and that for me is giving, uh, leaving the most positive impact. I do help executives to find a job, but it's not my niche. And I have helped people to find jobs and it does give you a sense of satisfaction. But for me, my niche is helping really business owners with their personal brand and their business brand and get their voice in the room. So basically, people, basically, I'm helping 
myself five years ago okay so i'm in business four and a half years so i'm half of people like me five years ago because i've learned a lot about networking and branding and online and i'm helping people to fast track so yes just be super niche because i attract people from my headline on my linkedin profile because i attract coaches consultants trainers universities you know they come to me because they know i'm the person that does that so i think the more niche you can be definitely the better so you have to do your target research whether you are an executive or a business owner um if you are an executive and you're looking for a new job like alan it's all about looking up job specs and looking through the skills and requirements section those hard skills those soft skills and making sure they're throughout your linkedin profile the same as a business owner you need to do your target research you need to figure out who is your ideal client who sparks joy for you who do you hate working with because you don't want to work with more of them who do you like working with who gives you energy who help, who makes you feel in flow because life's too short to help people who don't want our help or don't value what we do so you need to do that research and you can do it in a variety of ways you can survey your previous clients i did a survey before before I launched my LinkedIn Tribe Academy to figure out what do people want from a group academy. And it was so good for research. I can use that survey now in terms of content. And to attract that ideal client, you always need to think of the client customer journey you know where are they now what's their pain point and what are they looking to achieve and you need to have content all along that journey so that they can um you know begin to trust you know like and trust you and i think as a business owner there are two types of marketing you do on linkedin one is brand marketing so that is you know showcasing your personal brand and your business brand um it, it can take a long time, but it will leverage higher results or else you've got demand marketing, which so many people do, which is, and I'm doing it a little bit this week, is the doors are closing, the car is closing, the price for the LinkedIn Tribe Academy is going to expire midnight and Friday, blah, blah, blah. But you can't do that the whole time. To get LinkedIn working for you, you need to have both brand and demand, okay? And LinkedIn themselves will say 50-50. But you can't do really either of them if you don't know who your ideal client is. So I hope that has helped you. Um, polls are a great feature on LinkedIn as well. If you want to pick people's brains for research, you could ask them, you know, what do you call me? I, you know, do a blurb. I do this. What would you call me? How would you find me? Am I a coach? Am I a consultant? Am I a trainer? Am I a mentor? Just think what kind of questions could you ask for clarity as well? So they're a great feature that you can tap into. Now, let me see. Um, okay, Anna, this is a bit of a vague one. How <laughs> can I come across better on LinkedIn? Well, it all starts really with your LinkedIn profile. Okay, so that is your ultimate content which works for you 24 seven. So make sure you've got full clarity throughout your profile that you're speaking to your target audience and that it's super clear what you do, what value you bring, you've got a call to action. So work on your profile first and then worry about content on the home feed or groups or messenger. So many people jump to push out content and they haven't worked on their profile. So your profile is your personal career website. So a great place to start is your profile and i'm just going to stick up this little banner again and say if you need help <laughs> download my linkedin profile success checklist pdf you get that by joining my email list okay so if that helps i'm going to go back here sorry i'm getting used to the text so i'm kind of going between two so yeah start with your profile it's like a solid foundation it's like you know building a house you need to build a foundation before you start worrying about painting the walls and the decor and the curtains you need to build a foundation first so start with your profile and start with what you're trying to achieve on LinkedIn why are you on LinkedIn are you on LinkedIn to network are you on LinkedIn to build your personal brand are you on there to become a thought leader do you want to build awareness for your business and if that's the case you have a LinkedIn company page um do you want a job? Okay, so of course you have to tailor your profile to job specs and that the jobs that you want, you need to connect with recruiters, you need to connect with HR directors. Are you a business owner who wants to reach your target audience? Then like we were saying, Mahari, you need to be super niche or super niche, <laughs> like the Americans say. So um, yeah, just be clear on why you're on LinkedIn and what your goal is, okay? So many people just kind of flesh out a, a profile or do a copy and paste their CV from years ago. It's not up to date. So 
be clear on your personal values as a person or if you're a business owner what is your mission what is your vision you know what are your company values you know all of that is super important because people buy people whether you're selling a product or a service we're all human beings and that's how we connect so show up as you as well how do you come across better on linkedin be authentic okay be the real you so okay how do you okay maria said how do you download your linkedin network please i think it's better for me to do a link below rather than to explain it because it's a tacky thing and maybe i'll make a video about it actually later on um Alan has said great advice. So yeah, don't be shy, Alan. Download your network and get chatting to your network. Alan's Irish like me. We all like a bit of chat. So yeah, send a few audios. That will get the quickest results as opposed to written message. Okay, so let me see. Oh, okay, this is a good one. So Jane has said, is it a good idea to have two profiles if you have a job or you want to sell services as well? No. <laughs> It is not a good idea to have two profiles, okay? You're only allowed to have one LinkedIn profile because there's only one of you. And when you sign up to the terms and conditions on LinkedIn, that's what you ticked, whether you read them or not, okay? The good thing is you can have a company page, okay? So that's what you would do. You would be yourself, Jane, but you would also create a LinkedIn company page and you would link to it. And so you can sell, you know, whatever you do, your services on your company page, and then you've got your separate profile. So you can have 10 company pages attached, 20 company pages attached to your profile. So don't worry if you do multiple things. Think about people like Leonardo da Vinci, you know, he, how many hats did he wear, a zillion, and it's all good. So do not create two profiles, okay? Number one, LinkedIn can remove one of them without telling you, without warning, because you've breached the rules. And you'll lose all of your connections. So create a company page so you'll have the followers there to your page, okay? And, and don't worry about this question. I know somebody who created four profiles in error, okay? What a nightmare. And I know companies who created several company pages in error. And I know companies, I know one chamber of commerce and they created a profile instead of a company page. And one day they actually got in touch with me in a panic saying, it's gone, it's gone. And I was like, yeah, you've broken the rules. I can help you. <laughs> you know, it should have been set up as a company page. So that's what you need to do, Jane. And if you need help, I actually do have online training, um, very short and sweet, uh, a course on how to build your company page if you're a business owner and how to optimize it, all the analytics, how to get it working for you. And it's called LinkedIn Company Page Success. I can share the link below with you. And it takes between an hour, an hour and a half to do. So it's short and sweet. You would literally open that course in one tab and open your LinkedIn profile in another tab and just do it there and then. Um, so I hope that helps you. So you need a LinkedIn Company Page. Okay. Okay. This is one that I do see a lot. Uh, hi, Angie. So is it worth paying for LinkedIn premium? It all depends on your goals. I'm a massive believer in organic reach and milking organic reach on LinkedIn. So I personally don't use it for the most part. The odd time I would upgrade for a month, you know, what are the benefits of premium? Well, the benefits are you can send, well, I don't think it's a benefit, but you can send 15 in mail a month, okay? There are those kind of hacky, spammy type messages that land in your inbox. I'm not a fan because on the free version of LinkedIn, if I belong to the same group as somebody, I can message them for free, even if we're a second degree connection. So that's my free way around that. Uh, and one advantage of LinkedIn Premium is that you get access to LinkedIn Learning, okay? So if you want to do a few LinkedIn Learning courses, definitely worth upgrading for that. Another pro feature is you can go back for the last 90 days and see the people who viewed your profile. Now, if you're not going to do that hand on heart, don't pay for it, okay? So on the free version, you can only see the last five. So if that's more kind of for people who are in lead gen, if I'm honest, um, business owners, sales trainers. So if you're not gonna use that feature, it's pointless, it's not gonna, it's not worth it for you. I think one good feature that I do like, and I will upgrade, is the new out of office feature. So if you are going on holidays for a few weeks and the next time I do, I will upgrade and then you can put an out of office on your LinkedIn inbox. So that is a good feature. LinkedIn learning is good as well, but ask yourself hand on heart, have you got the time? If you don't, you know, save yourself 60 whatever pounds a month, um, 600, 700 a year, and stay on the free version. Because you move to premium, it doesn't mean you're going to show up in more searches. It doesn't mean your profile's more premium, that you're going to get more leads. If you haven't optimized a free profile, 
you're not going to get any more traction on premium okay so for me i'd say no don't have it save your money but upgrade the odd time so alan at the moment may want to message more people he's in job search mode so you upgrade for free for 30 days check it out and then downgrade okay so i say keep your money so we're nearly at the end well we are at the end but i just want to say quickly hi to um the lovely Jeff Young, who is a LinkedIn trainer based in the US, and he's amazing, so follow him as well. So he's missed the first 20 minutes. Um, what is the question that you get asked most often? It was actually the last question, Jeff. Should I upgrade to premium? <laughs> okay. Uh, another one that I get asked a lot is, what's the difference between a company and a business page? Well, a company page is a business page, so I think you're getting confused. So you've got, Catherine, you've got your LinkedIn personal profile, which is the individual. You all have individual profiles. And then you've got a company page. You could also call it a business page, okay? So one is for an individual and one is for a company. That's the best way to describe it. I have got a blog. If you look on my articles, I've got one about company pages. I can share that in the link below. Um, so I'm going to have to wrap it up, really, because we're on to 31 minutes. And uh, I can see there's a few other questions. I'm sorry to leave a few people hanging. Um, so thank you so much for joining. And just before I go off again, I'm just gonna say this again. So the LinkedIn Tribe Academy, like I said at the start, is open. That's why I've got my bling on today. Um, it's for female entrepreneurs. Uh, if you wanna get LinkedIn working for you within eight weeks, that's all it's gonna take. If you wanna learn how to work smarter and not harder, stop pulling your hair out with the algorithm, stick it going around in circles with generic free advice. If you actually want a nice supportive community, if you want group coaching sessions, if you want implementation sessions, there will be lots of implementation in this program. It is a kick up the ass. It's not just do the learning and go off. And that was interesting. It's no take action. So if you want to stand out, um, check out the sales page. I will drop it. I've got slots for discovery calls tomorrow and Friday. And then the price increases from midnight on Friday. And likewise, as I mentioned at the start, if you want access to my challenge replays from last week, it was especially for female entrepreneurs. Um, get in touch. I'll give you the links. And if you're not a female entrepreneur, if you want to access my previous challenge, they are on my website under free resource is okay so i'm gonna love you and leave you and say i will see you in a few weeks for the next one it's wednesday july the 7th at 11 and just one last thing one last thing before i go i am doing another linkedin live in a few weeks with a great guy called john cheek from uni taster days and we're talking about linkedin for students so that is if i recall i think it's june the 23rd at 11 a.m so john will be talking about the university side of things I will be talking about why students need to get on LinkedIn. And you may think, oh, do they? Well, they do. And I, and I know I know an amazing 15 year old, I'm gonna give her a shout out here, Amna. Um, she only joined a few months ago. She is Amna Habiba. She's doing an amazing job. And you know, you can start you can join LinkedIn from the age of 13. Okay. So if you want to discuss that for, you know, if you've got kids, if you know somebody's got kids, come along to that. I will be sharing the link as well. So thank you so much, everybody. I could go on all day, as you know, I love chatting about LinkedIn. Um, thanks for showing up and stay in touch. If we're not connected, reach out, you know, join my LinkedIn group, download my checklist, and I will see you next month. Take care, have a good day.